So I hope you're doing well. I hope the January ending is going better for you. I'm literally moving in literally the next 24 hours. So that's kind of a thing. And I start art school basically in a couple days, Thursday the 27th. So that's a lot. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope the the pancetta isn't getting to you. But for the most part, it's time to sit down in anime and chill. It's time to talk about anime. It's time to hear some odd opinions that I seem to have and want to share with everyone else. But anyway, enjoy the video. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Hey, yo, I'm gonna do this quick and easy. Check this out. Reno girlfriend is just escort shaming the anime. Like, I've been reading this for a while now, and I'm gonna be honest with you. This might be the first bad review of an anime I might really do. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like this anime has nothing redeeming about it. Like, it's, it's, and I'm joking, sure, but it's, it's not that good of an anime. It's, it, it's like a dumpster fire that you just watch because you're so deep in. And I didn't re, it's just really bad at this point. But <laughs> next thing. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that Demon Slayer animation is like some of the crispiest greatness I've ever like experienced. Like, oh my god, like you know when animation is bad, but when animation is amazing, it's freaking amazing. Like and it gives me hope for other animes because man when they go off and they decide to really do their thing oh my god they go off and do their freaking thing so like man i i i just genuinely wonder how are they gonna visually showcase chainsaw man that's really been all my thoughts lately because i looked at that trailer and i was like "Ooh, it's looking dumb for me. wow yeah. So right now in my anime journey, I'm really living up to this headhunter stage. I'm watching a lot of obscure anime that bring me so much joy at this point. They seem to all be centered around this idea of existential crisis and I guess contemplative character, a little bit of a good mix of slice of life or they at least reenact some way of some personality pieces that I had at a certain point in my life and I think I'm not necessarily going through an existential crisis, but I think I'm getting close to coming out of one. I think that's where I'm at really, because we're in a very interesting and different time. And I think I've been watching media that reflect that in some sort of way. And a lot of my views and also other interests are starting to convene into this, along with the books I read, along with the things I digest. And it's a lot of different things, to be honest. And here's some of the anime that I'm watching. First is Uramichi Onichan. I'm actually really enjoying this. I didn't think I would like the humor because sometimes I don't like humor that's just so predicated on the dark existential dread that comes with early adulthood to fully fleshed out adults that are in their 30s and feel like they've missed the prime of their lives stuff like that i don't really like that because it feels too gloom and doom because i'm turning 25 this year and i don't want to feel that my best times are behind me or getting behind me at this point but i'm enjoying it because it's got some solid peace and the comedy is actually really there and it's made me laugh out loud at least a couple times and i literally just said laugh out loud that is cringe but i enjoy it so far for what it is
and I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, but Barakamon is pretty solid. I love how our character just punched someone in the face because he said something bad about his art. I totally understand that. I, I get it. 100% get it. As someone who makes art himself, I understand that one day someone's gonna say something really messed up about my art or maybe critique it in a way I may not like. And I don't know if I'll necessarily punch them, but I'm sure the visualization will come into my head of this anime where we find a character that is slowly but surely changing and becoming a new person because he decided to get a new environment and open himself up to new experiences and every episode seems to give you some sort of gem about life and i really like this anime i honestly would recommend it to a lot more people and i'm excited to finish it once i finish it i'm gonna really dedicate a video to a lot of the gems that were dropped in this anime because it it dropped a couple really solid gems and it's very warm that's the best way to describe it. This anime is unbelievably warm. Oh, also, Dude, a place further than the universe? How did I miss this anime? Well, it came out in 2018. I was probably doing other stuff. Regardless, this is a great anime and it, dude, it has one of the most, fr this, okay. This chick is the ops. This chick is like, wow, this is the ops ops. Like she's like the opposition for real, for real. Like, oh my God. But anyway, this anime is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's magical. It, it's, it's really, seriously, still in the existential crisis, but it's more of a call to action. This anime has a lot of ingredients that could really change someone's life. And I feel like if I was a certain age, or well, I am that age, if I watch this, or as I continue to watch this, I feel like one day I'm just gonna make a drastic choice and really go for it, which I'm already doing because I'm moving to a new city and going into a total, difficult field of art and trying to make a life out of it which hey whatever we all make the choices that we make and getting my own apartment for the first time and getting selected for credit and stuff like that so recently i made a video about the four stages of an anime watcher and i remarked that i'm now in the headhunter stage where i search out and i look for anime that interests me no matter the episodes no matter what i'm just searching for what made me initially interested and at this point i feel like i'm living up to that and while i live up to this i'm enjoying the process of finding the gems that really mean something to me because this renewal of love for anime is really, it's really doing something for me. It's really inspiring me artistically, uh, mentally, uh, physically. It makes me feel really good inside to be able to say, hey, I've been interested and I've found and I went out and developed more of my own personal taste because taste is something that always evolves. And as an anime watcher, you should always look to evolve your taste or at least to find more of your taste that makes you happy to be a part of this medium. And I don't know, I'm just really able to celebrate it and I wanted to just say it out loud. I don't know if anyone else is going through this, but I have so many other videos and one of the weird things about talking about your favorite subject is sooner or later you might run out of things to talk about if you lose your continuous viewership of what you enjoy but i think i'm doing pretty well but then again i'm getting close to a year so i haven't been doing this as long as others but i just i feel like i'm in a good moment i've got a good flow and even though school is coming i feel like i'm prepared at least enough to keep going and keep pushing forward uh, oh my god, I didn't even mention it. I totally forgot. Ayo, why Netflix do that? You know what I'm talking about. Actually, for real, for real, honest question. Why Netflix do that? Check this out. Just check this out. Why Cowboy Bebop? Like, I'm not gonna get into it. Everyone's probably made a video on it. It, My opinion probably won't add to it. But, honest question. Like, of all the animes to touch, why that one? 
honest question. Like why? I don't understand. Never mind. Never mind. Let's move on. Let's just move on. <laughs> so while I've been headhunting, I've also been looking at the current things that are coming out each season and I'm really excited. I'm definitely catching more up on JoJo's. I've took a little seat back just to like let more source material come out and just appreciate whatever's going on. And I've watched Komi-san. I finished that. I really enjoyed that. I'm also getting close to finishing Fruits Basket. Rewatched it. Love it still. Now at this point, if there's any recommendations, I think I'm going to try and do a couple more new things with the channel. I think I'm going to start bringing books into this, like books I read. There's a book I really want to make a video on, and I think I'd be pretty successful in talking about it because it's a book that helped change my life, and I really loved it for a lot of its philosophy and a lot of its other things. So thank you for watching, and we're going to go through a couple changes. I'm going to try a couple things over these next couple of months, and it may not get a lot of views, it may not do successful, but I loved it for just trying it and I love the opportunity to talk about so many of these different things because a lot of these things that I'm experiencing are help building me and changing me as a person and I appreciate them more and more so once again thank you for watching I really do appreciate those that do watch or even if you don't or at least you check in I do appreciate it and for the most part that'll be it please like comment and subscribe I know that's like two times but you know gotta always say it I appreciate you and have a great day.